Hello again, welcome back to the Junk Couture Masterclass. If you guys didn't see my last masterclass that I did, my name is Hannah Moore Jackson. I am an Irish fashion designer and I'm back today to talk to you about natural dyeing. So I'm gonna tell you everything that you're gonna need. So we're gonna do turmeric dye and then beetroot dyeing. So for the turmeric, you're gonna need turmeric, um, just like the ground powder, and then you're gonna need some baking powder. And then for the beetroot, you're gonna need some beetroots, of course. And then for both of these, you're also gonna need um, some hot water. So just make sure that you're really, really careful with that. And let's just go straight into it and I can show you how to dye, obviously, um, the more natural kind of fabrications that you have, the better that the, the dye will kind of take to. But if you're using a polyester, just be aware, or any synthetic, just be aware that it may not take to it as much. But I'm gonna show you step by step now how to do it. So you're gonna start off first by prepping your fabric. I'm just gonna use two old socks. So you're gonna get some white vinegar and if you can use as much white vinegar as you can, probably have it half and half. And then you're gonna fill the pot then with some boiling water and put in your fabric and let that steep for about an hour. Um, and then you can prep the rest of your natural dyes after that. So starting off with the beetroot, you're gonna get the packet of beetroot and um, you're going to get a knife and scissors, cut the pack open. I'm only going to use two beetroots because my fabric is a pretty small surface, but use as much as you want and pour the excess um, juice back into the boiling water pot. Then you're going to cut the beetroot into kind of like four or five um, pieces. Place them into the boiling pot of water. Be careful with this. And then you're going to turn up the heat, let it boil. And then once it boils, you'll bring it down to simmer. While the beetroot is boiling, we can move on to prepping for the turmeric. So I'm only gonna use a pint glass for this because I only have socks to dye, but you might need to use a pot for larger surfaces. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use four or five tablespoons of turmeric. Next, moving on to our baking powder, we're gonna mix this into the turmeric powder and we're only gonna use probably like half of a spoonful of this baking powder to put into the turmeric powder as well. Then next, we'll move on to putting in some boiling water into the glass as well. Then you're gonna mix it around before you pour in the rest of it. I then added in just some normal cold water just because I didn't want the glass to get too hot and then I continued to pour in the rest of the boiling water up until it, the glass was pretty full. Then just make sure to give it a good stir around so that the powder is dissolving into the hot water and then we will move on to our next steps. So then checking back in on the beetroot, you'll know that this is done when the colour starts to drain from the beetroot into the water. So after we have let the beetroot steep for about an hour, hour and a half, we're then going to see that the colour has been drained from the beetroots itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the physical beetroots and obviously just like put them into a composting bin or something like that. And then I will show you what to do with the rest of the liquid. So after the fabric has been steeping for about an hour, we are going to then take out the fabric and just drain it on the kind of side of the pots. And then we're going to use this to add into our turmeric and then also into our beetroot. Make sure when adding the fabric into the turmeric that you're pushing it down, stirring around all of the powder that's left over at the bottom. And then just make sure that you leave that then to the side and we will come back to that at a later stage. So we've added one of the fabric pieces into the turmeric and now we're going to add the other one back into the beetroot. This is again still simmering on the pot and then there's boiling water in with the turmeric in the glass. So just kind of push that in, make sure that it's kind of down deep within the liquid and then you can put the pot back on and let it simmer. After leaving the turmeric to the side for a while, make sure that you keep coming back and checking on it, making sure that it's stirred around and that there's no powder at the bottom of the glass. So what I've done now is I've left them overnight just to make sure that all of the liquid is really seeping into that fabric and now we're going to take them out one by one and just drain them on the side for now and then leave them on like a chopping board or tinfoil or something like that and we will wash them out afterwards. So 
Now you're just going to wash them under the tap until the colour runs clear. Once you've done that, then we are ready to go. So after all that, here are our final outcomes. So we have this kind of um, rose kind of brown colour for the beetroot. That's how that turned out. And this is after it's been washed. And then for the turmeric, this is like a really, really intense kind of golden yellow colour. There we go, that's better. So this is how they turn out. And you can kind of do this with red cabbage, grapes, onion skins, avocado, like there's an endless amount of kind of natural dyeing that you can do yourself. So just get as creative as you want. And I'm gonna be back with another masterclass very, very soon. But I hope you enjoy and make sure to get tagging myself, Junkature, um, all of your amazing creations, all of your amazing natural dyes, and I will chat soon.